Hi everyone, welcome to another CodeCast and this time I'm going to teach you how to build um, your own um, admin panel. Well, it's not uh, really your own since I'm going to use a gem uh, which is called Rails Admin uh, but it's the fastest uh, way um, and, and of course the easiest way to create a full feature um, Rails uh, an admin panel, full feature admin panel. Uh, you're going to see it's um, very very powerful. Um, I'm going to show you the app so that you can see what you are going to build. Let me. Uh, okay, so the first thing is just a login button because it makes no sense um, to use the app if you're not logged in. So um, I already have an account set up. Okay, so if you didn't watch the uh, my previous tutorial called Ajax CRUD. Uh, I really encourage you to do that uh, since we are going to build this one on top of that okay so so that can be um, a, a little faster um, so please um, go back and see the Ajax crud uh, if you want or or you can build a, um, a app from uh, from scratch um, but if you want to do the exact same app please go back and see the uh, the, the Ajax crud tutorial so we are now logged in and we have here uh, three um, three records. Uh, if you type in the URL admin, see what happens. You see how nice it is, and this is completely out of the box. I did, uh, I, I did not, I haven't made any customization at all. Uh, this is right out of the box. So um, this is. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to install the gem and do the, this basic setup, but this is going to be all generated for you. So as you can see, I'm going to just do a quick demo. Uh, you have a dashboard um, when you can see all the models that we have. Um, in our case, we just have two. We have the posts and the users. Um, of course, the, uh, the amount of records uh, on each. Um, you can then list. I'm going to show you. If you did list, you can see uh, like a database. You can see all the records there. Um, let me go to the dashboard again. Then you have the uh, the add new. You can add a new um, a new record to that model, and you will also have the ability to export, as you can see here. You can export to S uh, CSV, JSON, or XML. And this is all out of the box. This is all done for you. Just installing and do uh, two commands, um, and you'll have this uh, set up for you. So let's begin. Uh, let me just uh, start, uh, stop the server, and go to our um, admin um, folder. By the way, this folder here is the one that I'm going to use. This is just a copy, uh, exact uh, copy of the Ajax CRUD um, app. I just changed the name, and we're going to build on top of this. So you can do exactly the same thing. So uh, let me go there. So let's go CD backwards and now desktop CD admin and we are there. Let's just uh, do a quick check on on the app to see what we have to start off. Okay, cool. We have no login system and if I click admin, no routes match. So we do not have any admin panel set up. As you can see, you can. Um, you can do uh, posts here, and you can edit. As you can see you can destroy them. Simple, um, simple uh, Ajax crud actually. So first, let me clear this. Let's generate the controller for the landing page so that we can uh, have that we can add that button of the login. So Rails G controller home and a, an index page, just an index page. Actually, I'll, I'm going to open device here on the getting started section since it's the, the sex, second step we're going to make. Okay, so just, just taking a little while. Let me just... Now it's set up. Let's install device. Actually, uh, first of all, let's open the, our app. So desktop admin, cool. 
Now the first thing is to add the device gem. Okay, we are cool. Now run the bundle. Okay. Now just let me check on the on the installation because I never know by hand. Ah, here we are. Rails generate device install. You can paste that. Okay, cool, no errors. And the last command is to create a model. So we're going in our case is going to be um, a user model. So we could indeed, um, we could in fact now re um, run the rake db migrate, but uh, since we are actually building an admin panel, I only want to admin users to be able to access the admin panel. So for that, I'm going to add an extra field on the users table. Uh, it's going to be of a boolean type, true or false, and it's going to be named admin. Okay. Now we are ready to break the P migrate. Okay, everything's working fine. Now, what we can actually do is uh, go to app controllers. Let's do some things. Now, the first, let's create the, the root route so we can delete this get and leave the root and instead of posts is uh, home. Okay, so the routes, uh, we have all the routes set up. Um, now let's go to the post controller and we want to add the before action from device authenticate user. Okay, okay, now close this. And now, in the home controller, we want to add a, um, a condition here. So, if current user, so if we are logged in, then redirect to, and let's see what we have actually in here, because I want to uh, actually see to the posts path. So, if current user, we want to be redirected to the post path. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Only if the current user exists or if we are logged in. Now, um, let's go to our application.html and what we are going to do here is very simply I already have the code actually on my previous app, so I can go there. It's going to be much faster. Just to copy, um, copy and paste this. Okay, so this is a very simple if else statement that you already seen, I'm sure. So if the current user, so if the uh, the user is logged in, give me the link to log out. If he's not logged in, then give me the link to log in. This is uh, this is very simple. So, um, I think we can close this now. Let's, let's just start the server and see what we have so far. Let's refresh. Okay, see what happened. Um, now I'm at the home index page and I have a button to log in. If I press log in, if I actually put posts, you see the before action, authenticated user is working, so it's, it redirects me to the login. Um, and let's create a user. So this is uh, password is going to be password as always. Okay. And it's done, and we have the link to log out. It means that um, it's working. Let's do the classical hello world. Create, okay, everything is working. Let me log out. Okay, perfect. Let's just delete the text there. We don't need on the index view. We can delete it. Okay. Okay, cool. Now we are actually ready to start and implement the uh, the admin panel. Let me just refresh if it's if okay. Everything's working fine. So 
First of all, we should put, of course, the gem in our gem file. And to do that, we can go to the uh, GitHub on this URL. As far we can um, Rails admin. This is the official GitHub um, repository. If you scroll down here, you're going to see the installation. So the first, of course, is to bundle the gem. So let me go here. Let's go to our gem file. Call and type Rails underscore admin. And then close the server and run bundle install. Okay, it's done. Now the other command that you have to do is of course generate the uh, the admin. Okay, so you can copy and paste this command here. Go to your terminal, paste it, press enter. It's going to prompt you if you really want to mount Rails admin. You just press enter and it does. So it creates a route for you that uh, slash admin pen. This is the, the URL that you put there and an initializer, Rails admin dot RP. Cool. So let's go to our application. We can close this. And if you see in our, uh, let's go to routes, the last one I can show you. You have a new route here mount rails admin engine to admin okay this is all set for you uh, and you have an initializer generator as well and here we are you don't have to mess uh, with anything here so um, we can actually test it already let's do rails as let me refresh the page okay perfect Let's do a login with the first user. Okay, everything is working. And now let's try and go ahead to the admin panel. It's just taking a little while since it's the first time. Okay, and you see, <laughs> I mean, how, we <laughs> how, how easy was it? Um, it's just two commands. You just install the gem and then you install the, uh, the Rails admin. And uh, you, you have this right out from the box how cool is that huh? okay but now to um, before um, we finish this video uh, I'm gonna teach you how to um, actually take advantage of the uh, admin field that we add to the users because uh, right this um, moment any user actually let's create a second user any user should be able to um, to access the admin panel so I'm now I'm user 2 and let's go there and let's see what happens you can see I can also go to the uh, to the admin so the way we can um, prevent this to happen is if you go here to the um, yeah, to the github official page if you scroll down you will have a documentation link in here you have bunch load of information by the way the the docs for this gem are awesome they are really really well explained and I mean there is nothing missing if you go here on the right side to authorization it's not authentication but authorization you have here um, this config here which basically tells you uh, to redirect to the main app root path unless warden dot user is admin so unless the user is admin it's going to redirect you to the root path so just copy this uh, config here go to your rails admin initializer okay I mean the initializer folder rails admin and just paste this you can actually paste this right in here and we're gonna do some changes so instead of um, doing a method here because uh, this expects uh, a meth a created method called is admin and we do not have this method we're gonna um, we're gonna do it some some just a little different so we're gonna actually go to the field from the admin field of a user and we're gonna check if it's true okay now we can actually go to the rails console and we're gonna add um, true to the first user so we're gonna set the first user to admin so u equals user dot first ok 
okay here we are the first user so dot admin you're gonna see nil you see now um, let's put uh, you dot admin equals true I put you dot save okay now if I type the you you can see here that the first user is admin and actually let's check um, to, to see that the, the last one is not so the first one is true and the last uh, the second one uh, is not so let's refresh the server actually let's restart the server since we uh, made some changes on the initializer let's restart the server for safety reasons so let's go to the um, to the page refresh let's log out okay let's log in let's log in with the second one the one that I that I know that is not an admin okay so I'm logged in and see what happens when I press admin it redirects me to the post and I can type admin as long as I want I'm not an admin user I'm not able to access uh, the admin panel now if I log in with the first one and this one is an admin so it should redirect me to the admin panel and here we go you see how easy it was um, very cool very cool this gem indeed uh, in very powerful um, easy to implement two commands just install the gem um, and then do a, just a install command uh, and you're all set up so um, this is it and I hope you have enjoyed it and um, see you again in another stuck cast